Hey! Don't suppose this elevator works now? <laughs> nope. How about you? How about freedom? So, we're free, huh? Metaton told us as much. Then he told me. Don't think that means you're getting out of work early. Ah, uh, my boss. I love that guy. And by that I mean I hate him so, so much. <laughs> Wait, why are there two entries for freedom? What does the other freedom do? Don't tell anyone this, little buddy. Because they'll make fun of me. But I... I feel like I played a hand in everyone getting free somehow. Even if it was just working this awful job. I think I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I'll believe it anyway. Uh... Ch sure. What about your future? Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my <clears throat> qualifications, it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's, as I say, nowhere to go but up. Literally, in, in this case. Good luck. I wonder if all these people even talk about freedom. Um, are you guys on your way out? Guess I'll catch up with you later. Good news, the elevator started working again. Now it's been so busy, we still haven't gotten the chance to ride it. <laughs> As a slime, I'm overjoyed. Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time. Or ever again. What about the janitor? Janitor! Trying to finish up work. Aww. Wow, it's really going at it. No response. Room service never came. <sighs> also, room service never came. Also, uh... Sorry, the resort's shutting down. But I think you'll find it's still great to pass through. Oh, wait. People over here on the left. Can't forget about them. Like you! You're my favorite character! Blub blub. Now we can live life without reservations. Dick monster! So if we're leaving, will my job... Ugh, and I just got a raise! Well, guess every apple has its core. <laughs> the surface world, really? Maybe I'll be able to go two feet without running into a puzzle. We're all free? Oh, guess I can stop licking this ficus. But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll keep going. You do that. Who else do I visit? I mean, all the main characters are already up there, waiting for me. What about you two? <laughs> Freedom, I'm human. Future, do you like cats? So, we're, like, totally free now, huh? Yeah, like, totally free. Like, cool. Yeah, like, cool. Like, millennia of being in prison finally over? Yeah, that's like pretty chill, I guess. I'm a human. Oh, oops, really? Uh, well, when we said, um, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were just, like, joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably? It's, like, practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was, Braddy's the best, Caddy's the coolest. Um, no? We've, like, literally never said that. Can it be, though? Can it be? Hmm. Now that we're gonna be free... Oh my god, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat? That's, like, your dream, Caddy. But Braddy? I, 
don't want to have a dream without you in it. Aw, catty. And in my dream, you clean up after the cat. Catty! Well, asking if they like cats seems pointless at this point, but sure, do you like cats? Me? Yeah, I love cats. They're, like, so tasty. Uh... No, I'm just kidding. Kind of. Anyway, when was the last time you even saw a cat around here? Oh, just the other day. There was this cute little white cat walking around. It was, like, so clueless looking. I pet it for like an hour. Caddy? Yeah, Braddy? I think that was, like, a dog. Dogs are just firm cats! <laughs> it's a freaking white dog again. Alright, see ya! God, who else should I meet? I guess everybody in Snowden. You. I was so excited to sell ice cream on the surface. If all the humans are like you, then... Then I'll still be able to sell to monsters. I hope. <laughs> what about the bros? Undyne told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to get used to love and peace. He seems happy. Good. He's still happy. What about... You? What? Do you want a rematch? No, I want to tell you that we're free. Doesn't care. Your loss. Okay, let's go to Snowden. Yeah, let's go to Snowden and then we'll go to Waterfall. Tell the boatman. Remember to take a break every so often. <laughs> I've been playing this game for almost four hours straight. <laughs> nah. Nah, I don't think so. Hey, I wonder if that person will finally open their door. The one that always liked the sound of me knocking, but never wanted to answer because then I would stop knocking. You! What a beautiful knock. Maybe... Oh. Seems like this is the beginning of a brand new boundless world. <laughs> this adventurous spirit. I'm like a kid again. And my children are like... Double children. <laughs> hmm. When humans play mo... Oh, wait. That's the same as before. What about you? Now we can play monsters and humans with real humans. Hey! You stopped flinging icebergs. Ice Wolf no longer has to throw ice. Ice Wolf can take a break to buy some pants now. Yes. Ice Wolf thinking of changing their name to Jimmy Hot Pants. You should do that, Ice Wolf. I wonder if the dog art is finished. Do you think somebody finished the dog art? I bet somebody finished the dog art. Oh, we're free. Finally. I'll be able to stop smiling. Oh. Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was going to say a joke here, but I really don't have one. Hey! 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 It's like almost all the dogs, including the kinda dog. With its... orifices. But hold on. Library first. Yo! This... wait, what did this say? This is the last day will be open, so make as much noise as you want. The greatest struggle of my life is over. I just solved today's crossword. Oh my, there's so much news to report. I don't know where to begin. How about this headline? Monsters go free from the underground. Nah, that doesn't have enough pizzazz. How about top ten monsters you won't believe got free from the underground? That sounds good. This will be our newspaper's last issue. Why don't we just put a big the end on the front and call it a day? Hmm. Now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? 
Wait, we're dogs. That stuff's normal. <laughs> Nice talking with you. Nice talking with you, too. All of our parents have been combined into one horrible being. That's okay, though. It's really brought our families together. Having an amorphous, shambling family member is great. They're always moving, so I can see them 100% of the time. <laughs> Ooh, can I finally go into Sansa's room? Sans. Don't tell me you left it locked. The door's locked, you- Hmm. I haven't seen you in so long. What happened? I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash of white light, and I felt my body being pulled into... something. And then suddenly, everything was back to normal. I heard that it was all because a human came through here. A human? I can hardly believe it. Well, if they decide to stop in, I'll be sure to give them a hero's welcome. That, that, that's me. That's me. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the hero, kind of. Did you hear? The ruins have been opened up. And get this. They're open from the inside. Apparently the queen had been staying inside there for god knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Future. Well, I suppose I'll move my store to the overworld. Haven't planned much more than that, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sorry, no time for a nap. Snowed in is shutting down so we can all go to the surface. Mom says that we can go to the surface world now. What's so great about that anyway? I don't want to move. You'll like it up there. Maybe. Uh, is anyone else weird out by those giant shambling amalgamates or... The kid over there told me that it's weird that I have a pet bunny. First, there'd be nothing weird about it. It's cute. Second, what? It's normal to walk your younger brother on a leash, right? <laughs> it's your younger brother. I guess there's a, a certain growth spurt at a certain age. It'll be nice to show humans our presence under the tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. Yeah, Christmas is weird. Yo, what's up? I've been kind of doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kind of mean. But yo, I just found out about someone way cooler. Yeah. Oh god. Papyrus, what have you done to this child? I heard Dr. Alphys told the king and queen the awful things she'd done. The king felt so bad that he didn't know. He gave her a big hug. Then the queen fired her. Now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics. <laughs> hey, still some people left in here. What if this overworld has any hot guys? And neat drinks. Oh, I'm ready. Soon, I'll be able to try some human food. And then I guess I'll try a human bathroom, too. Hey, people don't have to move in from the city anymore. Seems like we won't have to lose our local culture. Except we're all moving out of here, huh? Oh well. Guess it can't be all punk peaches and punk cream. <laughs> Good job. <gasps> they said something! And there's the dog over there! Wow, brand new world. I might not get to translate for Grilby anymore. Which is fine, since I was actually just making up what you were saying. <laughs> In the end, I never caught any girls on my fishing line. It's a kid. Take it from me. Don't try to catch hot people with a fishing rod. Somewhere, you hear a whinny of dismay. 
Hmm? Finally won a game of poker against itself? Good job, dog. Okay, where to now? Um... I guess waterfall, maybe? I'll be right back. Um, I just found something... interesting. So this is coming from here, going to the left, and going down. I don't remember if I ever went here before, but... There's a strange creature here. And things looking at me. Everyone's leaving, huh? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace and quiet. You're really terrifying. And also there's like a cave over here or something. What? What is this? Is this something I missed before? What the heck is this? It's a door. Uh-huh. Can I open the door? Hmm. Strange. Very, very strange. Is it like a password combination of these things to get it open? Huh. I don't get it. Oh well. No, the dog art was never finished! Oh, Well, you know what? Maybe on the surface, they can make more dog art. Oh, what about you? So, did you take that piece of me very far away? Where's the piece? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to eat it! It was an accident! Hey! The doctor. She brought my wife back from the dead. My son. He seems happy again. Our family is bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. Yeah, you're definitely supposed to read that with like a Brooklyn accent or something like that, or New York or something like that. Cool. Yeah, look at your family. S snowy. <laughs> mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool. Because uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke. Laugh at it. <laughs> Bye. Okay, let's go talk to the turtle shopkeeper here in Waterfall. And also want to talk to Bluxy. Or Bluke. Whatever the, the ghost's name is. Fluffy buns, why? Okay, okay. I remember it clearly now. Oh, we're finally going to get the real story. It was the monthly address at the castle, and the queen was giving her part on current events. After finishing her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, Your turn, fluffy buns. The audience burst into laughter. Realizing what she had said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. The crowd grew silent. He leaned toward the microphone, expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffybuns, and the rest is history. <laughs> so hey, is Asgore a goat? Eh? Goat. Actually, that reminds me. Toriel once wore a flower-patterned muumuu. Folks kept saying, nice muumuu to her. But she kept thinking they were calling her a cow. So she never wore it again. What was the question again? Oh, right. Asgore. He's a real interesting type of monster. The strongest type of all. We call them boss monsters. When they have an offspring, the soul power of the parents flows into the child. Causing the child to grow as the parents age. <laughs> but Asgore doesn't have a child. So he's been stuck at the same age. And probably will be forever. Huh? What if the child is a human? What? Nah, that wouldn't work. So if Asgore's your father, he'll definitely outlive you. <laughs> Asgore and Toriel. 
Oh yeah, of course. Toriel was queen and Asgore was the king. It was tragic when she left. Since everyone knew she was really the brains behind the throne. It was also just a teensy, teensy bit relieving, you know? Those two were really insufferable together. Nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. They were so sweet it made me sick. Thank God those days are over. Oh, Undyne. Undyne. She's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself, back in the old days. Gerson, the Hammer of Justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around to watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help. Though most of the time the folks she attacked weren't bad guys. It'd be the mailman or something like that. Anywho, I appreciated it. Bluxy! Actually, wait a minute, before Bluxy, what about you? So, you helped get us all free. I guess I really acted like a dummy to you. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, uh. Uh, what about the duck? This little bird wants to carry you across. No thanks. Okay, Luxie. Oh hey! Oh hey! Oh, Metaton, I'm a huge fan. Oh hi, human. I'll never forget when you cheered me on. When I was pretending to sleep. No one had ever. No one had ever had so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but... What's... your name? Everyone seems to know it now, except me. Seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting at home listening to tunes. There was a flash of light outside my window. I saw the snails on the farm disappear. Then I heard a knock at the door. The flash of light wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk. Okay, I won't forget it. There you go. There you are, Frisk darling. Feast your eyes. Dr. Alphys completed my wonderful new body. Ooh, and did you hear? The barrier's open. I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh yes, I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before fighting you, I had... forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to fill up my upcoming troupe. So far, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer. And Bl Napstab Look, here, will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together. It really feels... Overdue, doesn't it? It is overdue. Has anything changed in your homes? Nope. So you said the snails left? They're still waiting for the races. They're all ready, but there's nobody to do the races. That's sad. That's very sad. I think that's about it. I'm sure there's an odd person here and there that I missed. But I think if I find every single character, I'm probably going to drive myself absolutely crazy. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there, so I'm going to make my way back and I'll be right back. Oh wait, no! No, 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 no! You know what? One place I need to hit before I go. Temi Village. Yes, I'm gonna go to Temi Village and I'll be right back. Temmies! Whoa, Temi here news! Very good! Whoa, Tem here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Tems can go free! Oh god, unleash the plague of Tems upon the world! Ugh. Oh. Hey, Bob. A pleasing development, no? 
Whoa, if Tems can go on surface, can see. A lot of cute Yunin. Everyone's go free, but Tem, Tem not leave. Tem watch egg. Tem will be happily, uh, happily fambly. <laughs> Hoives. Hey, what about you? You still can't leave, can you? No, you still. Oh wait, your unbridled happiness. The government told me they were willing to transplant me outside. <gasps> Why didn't you smile at my dance? It almost feels a little rude. I'm sorry. Hey, what about you? You went to college. You could probably become a, a teacher. On the surface. Um, I can't even tell you about it? Tell me about the Temi armor? Tem armor so good! Any battle become easy victories! But mm, Tem think if you use armors, battles would wouldn't be a challenge anymore, but Tem have a solution. Tem will offer a scholarships. If you lose a lot of battles, Tem will lower the price. So if you get to tough battle and feel frustrate, can buy Tem armor as last resort. But Tem armor so good, promise to only buy if you really needs it. Well, that would have been nice. <laughs> um... About shop? Yeah, I, I can't tell them. I guess they're staying here forever. They'll never hear the news. Okay, now I'm actually going back for real. And we are back. Alright. Y'all ready to go? If you leave here... Your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow. It's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sens. What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk. I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Of course. Yeah! Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Well, someone's got to keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait up! Whoops. Uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go. Seems that everyone is quite eager to set off.
Frisk. You came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I mean, I'm pretty sure Frisk has a family, but I've never met them, and I have met Toriel, and she's awesome, so I'm going to stay with you. W what? Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It's a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other place to go... I'll do my best to take care of you, for as long as you need. Alright? Now, come along. Everyone's waiting for us. Okay, so I wonder, is this actually the end? I'm pretty sure it is. But... I would very, very not be surprised if there was something after the credits. So... While oh, we're watching all our friends... Go by in the credits? Oh, Napstab look! Oh, it's so sad! What the heck is this? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is amazing. Please tell me there's gonna be more of this. I bet there's gonna be more of those. But yeah, okay, just to sum up my thoughts, this game is incredible. It is really freaking good. I had heard really good things about it before going into it, but I had no idea what I was in for. It is one of the most unique and funny and clever games that I have ever played. Everything about it is just so... Oh, those dogs! <laughs> oh. <gasps> dog art! Yes, dog art! Keep on building, dog. That one might have fallen over, but trust me... Oh, and a kiss from Undiamond! Oh! And the weird onion thing that wanted to start a band in the water. <laughs> so it looks like some of the monsters. Some of the monsters were designed by people other than the, the main creator, because I this game was mostly well, I believe almost entirely made by by Toby. Just the one person. I believe he did almost everything. But it looks like some people did some of the other. Um some monsters' designs were done by other people, it looks like. Oh yeah! Shiren, Bluxy, Metaton, and the shopkeeper! You made a big, dude! You made a big. You, you're playing a bush. It's better than flipping burgers, right? But yeah, this game is just... It's hilarious, it's clever, it's funny, it's unique. I've never played anything like it. I love the combat system of talking to people. That's awesome. It's just, it's so good. And everything about it just gives me, like, warm, fuzzy feelings, you know? It's the sort of game I just don't want to end, because I just like, I like playing it, and I like seeing what's going to come next, and I like, I like the people, all the people. All the characters are just so interesting and funny and clever, and, you know, by the end of it, I just feel like they're all my friends. It's, it's really cool. It's just, it's a lovely game. It's so lovely. It's full of horrific-looking monsters, but almost all the monsters are actually just, you know, nice people that are kind of misunderstood. Even those amalgamates. Or amalgamates? Mapes? Mates? No, it's amalgamates. <laughs> it's just so lovely. So freaking lovely. Toriel. 
Looks like she maybe became a teacher. The end. For realsies? Oh. Oh. Not for realsies. <laughs> Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. What is this? Oh, HP infinite, good. <laughs> nice special thanks. <laughs> yeah, these names are totally readable. They're totally, totally readable names. I've played Toho! Oh my god. What? 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 I, what do I even do? I'm losing the game. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh wait, I have infinite HP. Let's make them all yellow on purpose. Are these... are these actually real? Special thanks? I get the feeling they're not real, because there's like no way there's this many special thanks. Oh, there's still more! You know, Toriel? Leaving food on the floor is just as weird as it was last time. But I love you anyway. Okay, so is the game actually over? It's the game of a million endings. It never ends. But no, I, I think it is actually over. I'm just gonna say it's over. I'm just gonna say it's over. Otherwise, I'll, I think I'll be here forever wondering if it's actually over. So yeah, this game is beautiful. It's beautiful, it's... unique and funny and charming and... Strangely kind and sensitive? Or, I shouldn't say strangely, but rather it's like surprisingly kind and sensitive. And oh, I knew it wasn't the end! There's a freaking dog! This game never ends. This game never ends. It's never gonna end. What? What? What do you want, dog? What? Can I pet you? I kinda wanna pet you. What are you looking at? What? It wants something. It's planning something. Look at those eyes. Hmm. 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 
can't do anything. I feel like it's gonna do something, though. I guess while I'm waiting for it to do something, I'll keep talking, but I've lost my train of thought like five times. It's wonderful how... how... like, um, relatable it makes these characters, right? It takes these characters that are literally called monsters, and sometimes they even do actually look kind of horrific. Sometimes they're not just called monsters, but they look like monsters, but they don't act like monsters. They're just, you know, like, pretty normal people, sometimes with some serious problems. And, oh, I fell asleep! And it just makes them so... relatable. And so sympathetic, it's, it's wonderfully um, tender with the characters. In a really surprising and really nice and refreshing way. Yeah, there's like no character that's just like beat up on f for laughs or something like that. Like, it, it just always seems to treat all the characters really well, for the most part. Except for maybe that weird onion creature. But it was in the credits, so it was happy, right? So I guess it was treated pretty well. Even that thing didn't get left out. The thing that wanted to start a band. Even though the only thing it had thought of was the band name. Yeah. So even that creature didn't get left out. That's wonderful. It's just it's just a wonderful, lovable game. It's wonderful. Alright, so thank you very much everybody for joining me on my journey through Undertale. It's been fantastic. It's a, such a beautiful game, I'm so glad I played it. And I hope you enjoyed the journey as well. Thanks for watching.